Hey, hey, hello, I'm Kiråkan, also known as Corvus Cornix, and welcome to Classy Movie Rambles, where I talk about old movies that I found in my classy while cleaning. This week's movie is Wreck-It Ralph, and it was made in 2013, and it's about 1 hour and 41 minutes long. And the movie starts with the main character, Ralph. He is a bad guy in a video game at an arcade place in a game called uh, Fix-It Felix. And he explains that he, uh, he's been doing this for 30 years, and then cutting to him at a group therapy session with other bad guys such as Bowser and Dr. Eggman and, and some others and he explains that he uh, he doesn't want to do it anymore, he's fed up with it. Uh, so he goes home uh, to this party and Felix is, is throwing a party because 30 years uh, of this game existing but Ralph is not invited. So uh, Felix goes out to talk to Ralph and reluctantly invites him into the, to the party. And there is an argument about uh, Ralph not being on the cake because there's this big cake representing the house that he always wrecks and Felix always fixes. And uh, he ends up uh, smashing the cake and he leaves and he goes to uh, <clears throat> to a tavern uh, called the, the Tappers. And it's from the, like an NES game where uh, basically you serve pictures to drunk guys. So there's this funny scene where he talks to like the bartender and he goes through like the missing and found because the reason he's doing this, he needs a medal to prove that he's worth being a hero. And uh, that's the reason he can stay at Felix's penthouse, basically. So he doesn't find a medal in the missing and lost and found box. And he goes outside and he finds a Marine from like a, a game called Hero's Duty. And he talks to the Marine and the Marine has PTSD due to killing a lot of bugs because that's what you do in that game. So he knocks the guys out because he, the guy tells him you can get a, like a medal if you win the game and Ralph wants a medal because he wants to be let, on, let into the penthouse. So he knocks the guy out, guy out and he puts on the, uh, the Marine's outfit basically. And then the next day the, the arcade opens as usual, the old man opens the door and uh, Felix is not in his game, he is on his way to hero's duty. So uh, the... The shop owner, he kind of declares the game is broken and it's out of commission and then we'll have someone look at it. So they're kind of panicking and don't really know what to do. And Ralph enters the uh, the hero's duty and this is one of those funny things where he goes in and he just wants the medal and uh, uh, he managed to get into some shenanigans basically. <clears throat> And meanwhile, uh, back at Fix It, Felix Kubert arrives and he tells Felix that uh, the whereabouts of Ralph. And Ralph actually uh, sneaks on ahead and tries to get the medal and he uh, accidentally triggered one of the bugs and the eggs and he falls into like an escape pod and he gets uh, launched through like a tube and he ends up in another game called uh, Sugar Rush, which is basically a... Uh, if Mario Kart was made of sugar, if that make any sense. So when Ralph crash in Candy Rush, he... Uh, sugar Rush, he loses the medal and uh, this other girl called Penelope, also called the Glitch, she picks it up and uh, the lieutenant that was in uh, Hero's Duty goes with Felix, it is a female soldier basically in command. They go to find Ralph because one of the bugs actually got on uh, his face, Ralph's face, and they crash landed. So now there's a bug in Candy Crush, which, which is not good because they can multiply and stuff. And that becomes like a pivotal point at the end of the movie. Uh, <clears throat> so there's going to be a big kart race and uh, the glitch enters the race by using Ralph's medal as a token. And Ralph is covered in chocolate and all kinds of goo and he arrives at the scene and he tries to uh, catch the glitch basically and it's not going too well and he gets captured uh, uh, by uh, the can King Candy and he is uh, the king of the candy land the sugar rush game or whatever but and then they talk and Ralph managed to escape and then Ralph actually sees the other kids making fun of the glitch or Penelope because she's glitching out all the time and they are so mean that they destroy her candy go-kart and Ralph chases them away and they agree to help one another out because uh, Ralph can't return to the penthouse without a medal and Penelope just wants to raise carts and she doesn't want to be a glitch I guess. 
So meanwhile, the, the soldier lieutenant and Felix, they uh, discover the crashed uh, pod of Ralph's and they realize that he isn't there and they fall into a goop pit of like Ness quicksand or something and they manage to escape and uh, the female soldier actually shows some affection for Felix and earlier in the movie actually Felix had feelings for her for some reason because uh, he liked her higher resolution face which I thought was kind of stupid but actually it's kind of funny because he was like this 8 bits right back in the day and and now games are high poly I guess I had actually laughed at it it was kind of funny Uh, and then uh, um, Felix explains to the lieutenant, uh, the soldier lady, that uh, he was afraid that Ralph was going to go turbo. And the reason or the, the meaning of going turbo is you leave your game, you go rogue, basically. That's what it means. So the term came from a, a previous racer named Turbo that he went turbo, he went rogue. So he kind of crashed and invaded other games and glitched them out and whatnot. Uh, so Ralph and Penelope, uh, and Penelope, they go to a, to a factory to make a new card for a, like a candy card, and they make like a a really ugly one, but she likes it uh, because it's glitched and crazy as she is, and then they're forced to flee, and then <clears throat> uh, they they escape into like uh, a hidden place, which turns out to be Penelope's kind of. Uh, sacred place or her hideout where she actually lives and Ralph makes a track uh, for her so she can practice to race with her cart but in fact she's a natural and uh, there will also be a point to why she's a natural in the end of the movie and then King Candy he goes into the the mainframe code because because of course he can do that and he picks out Ralph's medal yeah so the soldier lady leaves Felix alone because he triggers some uh, traumatic memories from her past where he or her about to be husband were eat, was eaten by a giant bug. So she is programmed to have a tragic backstory and it's kind of weird but anyway. So Felix is forced to go along all alone to King Candy's castle where he gets captured go figures. And then cutting to King Candy or the Candy King, uh, confronting Ralph when he's alone and offers him the medal if he um, basically stops the glitch from entering the race. So uh, Penelope arrives and the Candy King or King Candy leaves and she realizes that Ralph has a big medal around his neck right now so he's made a deal and Ralph is forced to destroy her go-kart and they leave on not so great terms. And then Ralph goes home to the penthouse and uh, um, one of the uh, the attendants or the people that live there explains to him that the game is out of commission and now he can have the penthouse all to himself because no one stays there anymore because when Ralph left Felix is left and now there are no character sprites of the baddies and the good guys so the game is out of commission so Ralph looks outside the uh, arcade screen and he sees the other arcade cabin cadam- cadam- cabinets in the arcade and he realized that the glitches face is posted on the sugar rush uh, cabinet and uh, he realized that the candy king lied to him and basically has uh, kind of disconnected or decommissioned the glitch out of the game so he goes back to sugar rush and then the soldier lady figures out that uh, candy rush or I'm going to say this different every time, like the, in the candy land or whatever. <laughs> it's been infected by the, the bugs and all beneath the surf, surface there are bugs because they have multiplied and eaten all the candy resources of the realm. So Ralph goes to res- rescue Felix and uh, they argue a bit and Felix and they and Ralph get along. So he fixes the glitches go-kart and uh, they re- reunite with each other and all is kind of fine now because he apologized. And then uh, uh, Penelope enters the race, and uh, the meanwhile the race is uh, going on. The Candyland gets uh, invaded by the giant bugs, and it's a total disaster. And <clears throat> uh, Penelope basically gets to like the, the first pole position. I don't know what you call it, but like one or a second, and she is 
racing against King Candy or the Candy King and uh, the Candy King kind of glitches out and Penelope realized that he is the character of Turbo, the one in the first place that jumped games. So she, uh, what basically happens is there is like a, a big evacuation of the, uh, of the Candy Land and uh, Turbo or King Candy gets eaten by a giant bug and everyone's trying to evacuate but since Penelope is part of the glitch program she can't leave the uh, the realm and uh, <clears throat> Sophia so Ralph makes a, a like a, a like a heroic kind of thing I, well he's gonna save the candy lamb because uh, the bugs are drawn to giant sources of light like re like real bugs so he goes up to a place called the Diet Coke Mountain uh, and he gets confronted by the Candy King, or now turned into a big hybrid bug, and they fight. So uh, he basically gets flown up on top of the, the mountain, he drops down, and he disposes like, all these Mentos into the Diet Coke, and it has like a giant re uh, reaction, and all the bugs are drawn to it, even the Candy King. And uh, they basically push Penelope's cart over the uh, finish long, line, of the cart because that uh, restarts the uh, the race and the program everything I don't know how maybe it's just plot rate or whatever but everything is turned out to normal and she everyone gets their memory back and the code is now back to normal so that's more or less what happens and Felix kisses the soldier lady and she kisses him back and there is like a wedding and now all of a sudden Felix and um, and Ralph are on better terms and they kind of agree and they're, they're more like friends now and they, I guess that's the happy ending of the movie so what do I think about this movie? I, I actually like it it has a lot of video game references like arcades and stuff and uh, unfortunately when I was a kid I didn't have we didn't have an arcade nearby <clears throat> yeah, living in a small city and also but I grew up like in the 90s so arcade was definitely a cool thing in video games and Seeing all these video game characters that are retro is just so charming and uh, it, it's a nice like idea that you, you actually see Sonic making like commercial and in like this hub world and you see Bowser actually spitting fire and all these kind of, I think it's called Sanguine, like one of those uh, uh, Street Fighter characters and he actually also has like in this group therapy session when they explain like he uh, doesn't want to uh, squish guys' head between his thighs, but that he does it because he's supposed to be evil, and I thought that was kind of a funny scene. So can I recommend this movie? Of course I can. It's one of those funny movies which you can basically watch with your kids and everything, and they know they might not get the reference with the video game characters, but uh, it's just a fun movie to watch, I guess. I had, I had a blast watching it, actually. So anyway, thanks for listening and for watching, and take care.